What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. It's getting hot in here. But how hot is it getting? Well, you can now know with this dial thermometer. It's eight inches. It's not that big. I mean, it is big for a thermometer, but you can see here, it's kind of like a kid's basketball. I'm not sure how to... Looks like you actually have to unscrew the thing out of the back here. So we'll do that. And then um, I can tell you... You know, from a temperature wise, I just brought it in from outside. So it is not 55 degrees right now, but I think this thing is warming up and I want to put this in the garage so that I can kind of pull in or open the garage and walk into it and kind of know what the temperature is. So I'm going to let the sucker warm up too, and we'll see if it's actually getting a pretty accurate reading. Now that I've got this little lacrosse thermometer unpackaged here, you can see it's about an inch thick here and it's got a domed acrylic cover. That cover goes all the way down. This uh, white inner plastic piece kind of extends up about half an inch and then you've got all the printed dial information on it. Obviously it goes from negative 60 to 120 degrees. This is definitely possible. This would be really ugly. And uh, as you can see here, it's kind of warming up. Um, one of the things I want to show you here is that the thermometer itself is a very low tech piece of equipment, just a kind of a coiled piece of metal. And when you unscrew this thing, basically you're removing a screw from each of these sides. You could actually use one of those screws, I think, and put that in your wall. There's just a little tab here with a slot and that's going to go over the screw. So basically that's all I've done is they're kind of reused one of the uh, screws here and uh, put it into the drywall and we're gonna hang this in the garage and hopefully it'll work. So here it is in my garage. Love the fact that it's heated these days. So I'm getting a 60s degrees in here and looks good. Nice and small on the wall. Like I said, it's not uh, super big, but just put it below my heater because I don't want the heat, the rising heat to affect it. But just kind of want to always see what the ambient temperature is, especially when you want to kind of dial in the thermostat on the heater and as well as uh, if you know if I use one of my cameras to check it that's the, kind of the cool thing is even though the blink camera has a built-in thermometer I don't always know how good it is but if you use one of the other cameras that I've recommended the wise cam which don't have those now if you put a thermometer like this in its view you can see what the temperature is so especially if you're monitoring something outside or in an area that gets pretty cold uh, I also picked this one up because it was one of the cheapest large thermometers I could find I think under 10 bucks. So I'll put a link to it in the description if you want to pick one up. Peter from Panda, out!